This video is brought to you by the collaboration between the University of Malaya and the National Chemical Laboratory. Hi, my name is Joseph. In this video, I'm going to talk about our paper in biotechnology and bioengineering. My team members from the Department of Chemical Engineering, University of Malaya, consists of myself, Dr. Yo, and Dr. Ngo. From the National Chemical Laboratory of India, we have Dr. Doshi. In a typical fermentation setting, the microbes consume simple carbon sources such as glucose and glucose dimer in order to grow and at the same time produce valuable products such as ethanol. These simple substrates are usually derived from polymeric origins such as starch or cellulose. In the case where the substrates are present in its polymeric form, the microbes cannot consume these macromolecules immediately. One option is to have the microbes produce the enzymes to cut the polymers into smaller substrates. In order to model this process, the traditional way is to use a combination of the michaelis menten expression for enzyme kinetics and the Monod kinetics for microbial growth. However, there is a limitation in using the traditional way. First, the michaelis menten kinetics assumes that the substrate is a lump entity and there is no explicit consideration of the specificity of enzyme action. However, in reality, the action of enzymes is very specific on the polymeric substrates. Also, polymers are not made up of one substrate, but that there is a distribution to the polymer sizes. Using the michaelis menten kinetics, the resulting shorter chain polymers cannot be distinguished. Whereas in reality, the scission of polymers produces a mixture of oligomers, some of which can be directly consumed by the microbes. The use of the monod kinetics for cell growth does not consider cellular regulation. As an example of cellular regulation, in the absence of glucose, the excretion of depolymerization enzymes is induced. On the other hand, when glucose is abundant, the production of these depolymerization enzymes is repressed. This, again, is a huge deviation from reality as microbes are known to regulate their own metabolism. Given multiple choices of substrates as a result of polymeric scission, microbes also preferentially consume one substrate over the other. In addition, regulation of the excretion of the depolymerization enzymes is not considered in the traditional method. Because of these limitations in the traditional methods, instead of the michaelis menten kinetics and the Monod kinetics, we use the population balance modeling to capture the enzymatic scission and the cybernetic modeling to capture the regulatory nature of the microbes. The core of our paper is therefore to establish the general framework for interlinking the population balance component and the cybernetic component. Using the population balance approach, the temporal evolution of the entire polymer distribution can be captured. On the other hand, by having the cybernetic modeling component, the microbe is able to preferentially consume the substrate that maximizes growth. This is the first critical link that was established in this work. The second critical link is the excretion of extracellular enzymes to depolymerize the polymers. The excretion of extracellular enzymes follows after the cybernetic principles in that it is subjected to regulation. With these two crucial linkages, essentially we are using the population balance technique 
to capture the intricate details of enzymatic depolymerization at the molecular level. And at the same time, we use the cybernetic modeling to capture the effect of cellular regulation in response to the complicated external environment. What we had done provides a seamless way to connect the otherwise unrelated approaches. And on top of that, our framework allows each component to be modified to the desired level of details. For more information, please visit the URL given. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the video.